Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today, we're gonna take a look at an AA5 speeder truck for Star Wars Legion, the miniatures battles game. B by the way, I absolutely love this figure. I plan on getting two to four of them for my sci-fi games. They are, this model is so incredibly cool. The client for this one said that we could have artistic license, but as you can see, I'm more or less stuck with the scheme on the box, and I am gonna, I am just gonna tell you all about this kit. You are gonna love it. Let's dive in. So first off, the usually we only paint the exterior of a vehicle and it's all sealed up. This client requested that we paint the interior as well. So uh, let's take a look. First off, I haven't glued this on yet. I'm gonna ask the client if he wants it permanently glued on. It, if you don't glue it on, it does tend to fall off. And it is possible to magnetize it, but it's quite a bit of microsurgery. The only place you could do it where the magnet couldn't be seen would be under this bar here. Now this comes clear, so it takes about seven layers of paint to get that bar to look solid like that. So let's take this off. It's got a little uh, pilot in it. You don't have to put the pilot or uh, driver on there. Uh, you can just leave the seat blank, which quite frankly, I would if I was using it for my science fiction games. Uh, I have not affixed this to the base, so you see a little wiggle there. In fact, the sides aren't even glued on, which I'm going to show you momentarily. So as you can see, there's a lot of detail inside there. And uh, also in the back, I put a lot of effort into painting this, and quite frankly, I don't think anyone's going to see it. Uh, there's like a door there. And, okay, well, uh, and it has uh, two guns on top. They're interchangeable via a peg, and uh, they peg on very nicely. Ooh, that's a little stiff. I think that uh, dried overnight. Okay, here it comes. So that comes off quite easily. You can exchange it for this other gun. And I don't, I don't know what they're called. I'm sure it says in there somewhere. All right. Um, by the way, painting the exterior of this represents about 20% of the net effort. The, uh, oh man, there's so much, like when, uh, if, if someone says, hey, paint the interior too, guess what? That is a lot of extra effort. Okay, so this front part, this top part comes off quite handily. It has two sets of, uh, wait, you don't want to see my hand. It has two sets of pegs. So as you're pulling it up from the back, it tends to put stress on these front pair of pegs. So that's why it's uh, kind of hard to get off. Uh, I thought of magnetizing it up here, actually. So here's the top underside. And uh, yeah, so I tried to use very subdued tones. This uh, foul, Vallejo Foul Green, which is like a park green, is probably the brightest color on here. Uh, but I tried to use very earth tone type colors. All right, here is the interior. It's a little dark, you can't quite see it. Uh, this hatch comes in two parts, but it's not built so that it opens and closes. So this bottom part flips out like a ramp with stairs, and this top part would go up. But again, it's not pegged. I just glued this into place, which is kind of how you have to do it, unless you're gonna do some real microsurgery and get uh, magnets in there. So. It opens. So anyway, uh, there's the interior door. I've put a lot of uh, weathering, a lot of advanced techniques on this. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. First, let's take off the base. This base is a real shame, by the way, because the vehicle uh, obs uh, obscures it. Uh, but I put in a lot of effort. I didn't cover up the uh, vision markings here, front and back, uh, but I did put on enough that it looks very organic. All right, and before I pull this apart, let's take a look at the bottom. So a lot of detail and weathering on the bottom. Same thing with the engines. Uh, let's go ahead and crack open the sides. And this takes some finagling, not too much. Let's go ahead and get the other side open. So those are the basic four pieces. The bottom piece, the, uh, the two side pieces, which look identical on the interior. 
there's no difference between the two. So you've got benches here, these and these uh, storage bins, and uh, it looks it looks really really amazingly cool. So let's take a better look at the interior here. And it's got a couple of guns. Those are actually separate. Those are really hard to glue on. So yeah, a lot of detail on this. It looks really good. I made like muddy footprints going in and out of here, and you know where I think people would be would be walking. What would be cool would be to put in a few storage containers here. So if I were doing four of these and wanted to make them all unique, that's something that that I would do. I might even leave this door uh, off. This door is optional. And this, this wall here has two pieces with the door sandwiched in between. So it definitely won't open. It has no uh, articulation there. This, this piece, which uh, I painted separately in this uh, rust red, uh, comes off too. So there you go. And once you put it together, you really don't need to glue this piece on. And this is this is where this uh, this thing goes on like that. So, uh, well, there you have it, guys. It's a really, really amazingly cool uh, miniature, and uh, I'm very excited to have painted it. I'm actually going to be painting uh, another Star Wars figure, which you'll see probably uh, tomorrow, and or maybe the day after. And I, I definitely highly recommend this kit. It's really incredibly cool, uh, very complex, and definitely a lot of potential. All right, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your in inspiration for the day.